episode of Dermatology Masterclass. We're going to be talking about the science behind face masking and how we can learn to mask better. First up, how exactly do face masks work? Face masking is based off the principle of wet occlusion therapy. Wet occlusion therapy has been utilized in the treatment of various dermatological conditions, including eczema, because it increases the absorption of medications and moisturizers when it's applied to the skin. Using a face mask is an efficient way to deliver active ingredients to your skin as part of a regular skincare regimen. Dermal cosmetics is a term that is used interchangeably with cosmeceuticals and it basically refers to pharmaceutically active skincare ingredients that can be applied for cosmetic purposes. Now, in order for an ingredient to qualify as a dermal cosmetic, there has to be a certain amount of clinical data or scientific research that backs up its claims. These active ingredients are usually non-prescription actives and can be in the form of botanical ingredients which have potent antioxidant properties. Red algae, for example, is a potent antioxidant that is able to engulf the free radicals generated by environmental damage. And this is an important part in anti-aging processes. Panax ginseng is also proven in studies to stimulate cellular renewal. Every face mask should contain a good moisturizing base. And this is commonly in the form of glycerin, which is a humectant, as well as a balance of lipids that mimic the skin's natural barrier. Olive oil in particular is beneficial for skin because of its additional antioxidant properties. What's in your face mask is really important because we are expecting it to be absorbed to the skin to deliver benefits. Hyaluronic acid, for example, is a humectant that is present in a good moisturizer that can repair the skin barrier. It's able to hold up to a thousand times its weight in water and is also able to plump up the dermis and give a full, healthy, moisturized appearance to the skin. In addition, hyaluronic acid actually participates in cell talk mechanisms and this means that if you have a skin disease um, and if there's ongoing inflammation, it can be beneficial in terms of helping the skin to heal. How can we mask better in 2021? I think it's important for us to understand the concept of transdermal delivery. The skin is a very accessible organ, which means that whatever you apply on it, it is absorbed, um, there is a reaction that occurs, and hopefully these active ingredients can penetrate the skin barrier, the stratum corneum, and deliver benefits to the skin. This has to do with the type of active ingredients as well. For example, multi-weighted and certain types of hyaluronic acid are better absorbed than others. Um, there is also the role of using technology to deliver active ingredients in transdermal absorption. An ideal home facial device, in my opinion, should have the following properties. First of all, it should be convenient and easy to use. Secondly, the technology involved should be safe, effective and evidence-based. Thermal therapy is effective because it increases the local blood circulation by encouraging vasodilation whereby the blood vessels expand so that it's able to absorb more of the skincare product that is applied on your skin. Cold therapy, also known as a form of cryotherapy, um, has an anti-inflammatory effect and this can cause a reduction in skin swelling. If you have symptoms such as skin sensitivity or itch, um, if you have eczema for example, cold therapy can be a way to distract your skin from these very uncomfortable itch sensations and reduce scratching as well. I'm going to talk a bit about sonic technology now. The science behind 
sonic technology is that of mechanical biological stimulation, which is really the reason behind why the skin is also able to respond to massage. Conventional face masks are limited in terms of firstly, the active ingredients, and secondly, traditional face masking techniques rely purely on the concept of wet occlusion therapy, which we discussed earlier. Having a facial device in order to synergize with the delivery of active ingredients, um, such as the use of sonic technology, thermal therapy, cryotherapy, all these can actually increase the absorption of the skincare actives. In addition, there is some evidence that sonic pulsations can stimulate local microcirculation and also enhance cellular renewal. Photofacial therapy is a useful adjunct to deliver therapeutic LED lights in order for safe and effective rejuvenation of the skin. Whole facial devices are very relevant in skincare routines because it enhances the absorption of active ingredients on a daily basis. There are a few key features I would personally look up for in a home facial device and one of that would be efficiency. The UFO2 is in this case very time efficient, um, needing only 90 seconds to achieve its optimal effects. My skincare philosophy is more maximizing a minimalist approach. That means that Every step counts and you also need to deliver skincare ingredients effectively. The UFO2 is designed to increase delivery of active ingredients in your mask via patented T-sonic pulsations that also increase local microcirculation. The absorption of any serum directly correlates with its ability to penetrate the stratum corneum, to enter the dermis, and to participate in the cell processes that eventually help to increase the skin radiance and fight aging. The UFO2 is designed to enable more effective penetration of the skin barrier, the stratum corneum, in order for the active ingredients in serums to be exerted at the cellular levels to improve skin radiance and vitality. Additionally, the UFO2 device employs the concept of thermal energies, such as thermotherapy and cryotherapy in order to enhance microcirculation as well as exert anti-inflammatory effects on skin, all of which are backed up by our understanding of skin physiology. Mm -hmm.